Welcome back to the Mr. Excel podcast. This is our third podcast about time. Yesterday, we had some non-standard times, 123 minutes and 42 seconds that were entered as text. And we had to go to these great heroic efforts using the time function to break that original text into minutes and seconds and feed that into the time function. Today, we have an even worse problem. Someone entered uh, 370 different times, but at least they made them look like a time that Excel would generally understand. 1 colon 23 colon 45 space AM. Now, if you have time that looks exactly like Excel would understand, then there's a different function called the time value function. As the argument of the time value function, you plug in something that looks like a regular time that Excel can understand, and it will actually convert it to the time. Double click the fill handle to copy down, and we're good to go. Now, you see that some of the times are too narrow for the column. So if I double click the right edge between B and C, It'll make it wide. Still have one problem here. Someone keyed the wrong time. Three hours, 45 minutes, 61 seconds. Excel doesn't know how to fix those. So you have to go through and manually check them. Now, one more trick. Here's that exact same column as we have in column A. We'll see if this works. If we enter a zero in an out of the way cell, copy zero to the clipboard using control C, highlight all of our data, and then use edit, paste special, add values click ok sure enough excel converts them all to times but we have some formatting issues you'll need to go back in and choose the right time format after using this trick there you have it a couple of different ways to deal with text that looks like time and is formatted in a way that excel can understand thanks for stopping by we'll see you tomorrow for another podcast from mr excel